Duke writes, Hey, John, I'm trying to get better at analyzing films. Besides identifying acts one, two, and three, as well as finding out who the protagonist prop, what, what is the protagonist problem and how are they going to solve it? What are some other elements you look for with each piece of film slash TV that you watch? None, none. Now look, I, I am what you would call an experiential film fan, right? Like, I don't sit there, like, yes, when I'm watching a film, I can identify, okay, this is the transition from act one to act two, from act two to act three. Here's our protagonist. Here's our antagonist. Here's the problems facing our protagonist and what do they have to overcome to get to the conclusion of the film in act three. Yeah, I, I, I recognize and identify and see all that stuff. Yes. But none of it is what I look for when evaluating my experience with the movie, because to me, movies are experiential events. What experience did the movie give you? I don't care how technically correct your three act structure was and your antagonist and protagonist. None of that matters unless your film delivers an experience, an experience of fear, of laughter, of excitement, of thought, of contemplation, of dread. I mean, wh whatever it is, whatever that experience is that your movie is trying to deliver, did your movie deliver that experience? Did I, do I walk out of the theater feeling like when I walked out of, here's two completely opposite movies that I had like similar kind of experiences with. Uh, the uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor, the Mr. Rogers documentary. I hope I'm saying the right title because there's that Tom Hanks, Mr. Rogers movie. And then there's the Mr. Rogers documentary, but the Mr. Rogers documentary and Avengers Endgame. These are two polar opposite movies that gave me amazing experiences because I walked out of Endgame like most people did on your left, the portal scene and Cap getting the, the Mjolnir and standing alone, Cap rebuckling up his shield, standing against Thanos and his entire army all by himself. I mean, the thrills, the experience, all that kind of stuff. You just felt like you had a damn experience. At the same time, when I came out of the Mr. Rogers documentary, I felt like I had every bit of experience that I did out of Endgame. Just very different though. You experience wonder. And you experience compassion and you experience empathy. And honestly, you experience more self examination than I, I have never had anything that made me want to do self examination more in my life. Like evaluate, evalu no, no movie has ever made me want to sit and try to evaluate myself as a man more than watching that damn Mr. Rogers documentary. He's the damn fucking goat. And I know he wouldn't approve of me using that language, but Mr. Rogers is the damn fucking goat. He was the fucking man. He was a man among men. He's like the ultimate fucking man. And again, I know he wouldn't approve of my language. That being said, it was a life-changing kind of experience just watching that damn documentary. I know whether you're doing a comedy, a rom-com, a period piece, a drama, a horror film, a documentary, whatever, you got to deliver an experience. And for me, I, I put the technical aspects aside when I am just evaluating a film on my own and I just go, what kind of experience did this movie deliver or did it fail to deliver? And that's just my own kind of thing on that. So never get too caught up, Duke, in the technical aspects that you forget to just sit back and take in the experience the movie's giving you or the experience that it's failing to give you. That, that to me is the main thing, but that's just me.